How's it going, guys? Past level question for pharmacology for step one. If you're studying for internal medicine for 2CK, past level as well. No fucking excuses. Now, we could do a 46-minute discussion of the myriad of uses for all of these answer choices here, okay? Which I'm not going to go down that route. I'll keep this clip real clean and concise, not waste our fucking time. So before we get started, please subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Give the video a like. really appreciate it. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Links down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now start the clip. 31-year-old man, four-month history of headaches. They occur almost daily now. Blood pressure 125 over 80. Cardiopulm exam shows no abnormalities. Two years ago, he was treated for a kidney stone. His father had a cancer removed from his neck 20 years ago. Question wants to know the most appropriate pharmacologic therapy for this patient's headaches. The mechanism of action. Let's just walk through the answer choices here. We'll go backwards. Guanylocyclase upregulation. Wrong fucking answer. This refers to nitrates, okay? Which uh, guanylocyclase upregulation means increased CGMP, causes relaxation of venous smooth muscle, causes venous pooling, decreased preload on the heart, decreased venous return, which means decreased myocardial oxygen demand, a relief of pain from uh, or for angina pectoris. Wrong fucking answer. That should actually say cyclase. It says C Y L C A S E. So I spelled that wrong. Someone's gonna like freak out in the comments. I'm not gonna restart this whole fucking clip right now, but I'll make a note of that. Wrong answer. Calcium channel inhibition, dihydropyridine, non-dihydropyridine, both wrong answers. So you need to know that the dihydropyridine, uh, amlodipine, ifedipine, these act on vascular smooth muscle and uh, cause fluid retention, peripheral edema, okay? Very high yield for family medicine, non-dihydropyridine. Uh, this is verapamil. This acts on nodal uh, calcium channel blockers within the heart. Uh, this causes constipation, okay? Very important. Diltiazem, non-existent, okay? I've never seen it as a correct answer on any step one or step two NBME material to this point, okay? Absolute nonsense agent that students memorize. Wrong fucking answers. Beta blockade, wrong answer. Now, this could be a 40-minute discussion in and of itself, okay? But uh, you should be aware that beta blockade, it could be used for patients who have uh, migraines plus hypertension. That's high yield for family medicine. This patient doesn't have migraines, as I'll explain in a moment, okay? Many uses for beta blockers, uh, just real fucking quick. You could be aware that they are used for social phobia, okay? Uh, stage fright. They can be used for esophageal varices, prophylaxis, uh, for akathisia in uh, or with antipsychotic use, uh, for uh, hyperthyroidism if you have tachycardia. Okay, they decrease peripheral conversion of T4 to T3. So there's many uses for beta blockers. They're the wrong fucking answer. Alpha blockade is the correct answer. Okay, so this is pheochromocytoma this patient has. This is MEN2A. Okay, multiple endocrine neoplasia 2A. So you've got a triad of uh, medullary thyroid carcinoma, either in the patient or in the family. Okay, they like giving it to you in a family member. Uh, hypercalcemia due to parathyroid adenoma or uh, diffuse foregland hyperplasia causing the kidney stone. And then you can get pheochromocytoma, which is an adrenal medullary tumor secreting norepinephrine, epinephrine, the catecholamines which cause blood pressure to surge. And you say, well, blood pressure is normal here. Okay, well, as I said, that's a pass level factoid. You need to know that the hypertension slash palpitation slash headaches due to pheo are paroxysmal, not continual. Paroxysmal means occasional slash sporadic, okay? Patient will have a normal blood pressure, goes home, and then switches into a 200 over 120 uh, for 15 minutes and then goes back to normal. Okay, so that's pheochromocytoma, and you treat this with phenoxybenzamine, an irreversible alpha blocker, okay? Students get very fucking pedantic as far as alpha-1 versus alpha-2. Relax, okay? I mean, you just need to know that uh, phenoxybenzamine inhibits alpha-1 receptors, okay, irreversible, and it's going to decrease peripheral vascular resistance. The reason we give alpha blockade is, uh, as opposed to beta blockade is because if you give a beta blocker in pheochromocytoma, you get what's called unopposed alpha for the catecholamines in terms of their action. In other words, norepinephrine and epinephrine are going to bind to alpha and beta receptors. If you block beta receptors, they're forced to only bind to the alpha receptors, which will mean increased alpha-1 agonism, surge the patient's peripheral vascular resistance and blood pressure, kill the patient, okay? Beta blocker for pheochromocytoma, wrong fucking answer. Angiotensin converting enzyme inhibition, wrong answer. Okay, obviously ACE inhibitors, myriad of applications, but 
Um, you could know that lisinopril, for instance, uh, classic for 2CK questions, uh, hypertension and carotid stenosis, uh, ACE inhibitors for diabetic patients who have proteinuria, uh, increased creatinine or renin, or have blood pressure greater than 130 over 80, which is hypertension and diabetes, not 140 over 90. Okay, I'm not going to do uh, a significant tangential discussion on that. For this question, you need to know MEN2A. Uh, if you have pheochromocytoma, you get pheochromocytoma in MEN2B as well, uh, which would be uh, medullary thyroid carcinoma, pheochromocytoma, marfanoid body habitus, mucosal neuromas, MEN2A as we have here, MEN1 going to be pituitary uh, adenoma, uh, parathyroid adenoma, or diffuse foregland hyperplasia, uh, pancreatic tumor, okay, Zollinger Ellison syndrome, etc. Wrong fucking answer. You know the deal. I'm going to continue making more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. I appreciate your time. That's it.